For those of you who have watched some of my videos, you might realize I'm into small boats. Well, this is the first big boat that I've ever had. Don't have a trailer. Uh, I acquired this from the administrator to our homeowners association. This boat uh, was sat abandoned for about three years. You're allowed to park your boat there by the beach uh, if you want to go crabbing, as long as you register it every year. Anyway, so I got the boat. Pressure wash it, put that nice little emblem on it, and made these ramps so I can get it up in the back of my truck. And as luck would have it, I was told two days ago the old fart wanted his boat back. Whatever. Anyway, at the end of this video, I'll show you how I made the ramps and the dollies for getting the boat around. Now, some of you boaties out there might be wondering why I just didn't go out and buy some of those wheels that attach to the back transom. They swing up when they're uh, not in use. I priced those and didn't like the cost. I had all these parts kicking around. Besides, the boat came with those little brackets. Somebody had already had those, but they mounted them poorly on the boat and they were cracking some of the transom. Not enough to leak, but I could tell there were some deficiencies in that whole design. Here, I've got all the pressure on either the transom when I've got it upside down or just resting on the bottom of the hull. So I like this better. And I can remove it when uh, the wheels are not in use. Um, here's my tailgate in real life size. Here's my wheel. Go right there. Transfer this onto a piece of paper. Now I have my template to draw it onto the board. Once I got done cutting the two pieces out, you see the two screws there, and that holds them together for sanding and drilling. And I just undo them, and they're perfect. So here we got our first one made. I'm going to go ahead and make uh, another one up. So yeah, two two-by-fours, four one-by-twos. One-by-twos were cut at an angle, create a trough. Actually measured the angle about five and Rub the candle around there to make it slide easier. Four inch wide rollers that I found in a marine store. Two by fours are actually three and a half, so I put a little space board in there. Five eighths inch hole, axle hole. I put a little plastic conduit spacer in there to accept a half inch bolt. And you know, three quarter inch ply to create these. Screwed it in on the end. You can see how it's working. Anyway. This is mounted just a little higher than that. Reason for this, tailgate goes here, bottom here. So when I push the boat up, this thing doesn't go flying forward. It has a stop right there. So I just made a little mark on my pickup there, the center mark. That's where I position out. And that one there. And then I line these guys up to the boat hull. Very simple. 10 inch Harbor Freight wheels. Cheap. These two boards here were grouped and spaced to fit these uh, inner edges of the two holes. And I got a little rubber padding there. Pin keeps that in. Whenever I want to remove that, remove the pin here. off and then I can just use the wheel separately. This is half inch tubing screwed on to a, a two by fours. Half inch PVC. You can tell I added a little spacers. I had washers there. So when I put this guy on that it won't hit the tire. This is a little assist handle when I'm positioning it under the boat and the little bungee cord keeps it in place when this is on the rear transom and transport. 